Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video updated on Wednesday the 4th of April. Now there is some improvement in the story for the rest of this week as uh, low pressure pulls away briefly on uh, Thursday. A bit of a messy picture into the weekend though, still some areas of rain around, a little bit milder on the whole, perhaps some snow on the highest tops. And uh, the general outlook looks as though more of an easterly pattern will dominate, which means northwestern Britain may see some drier conditions. A look at temperatures then, this is at 850 millibars. We've got uh, around 4,500 feet in the atmosphere then at this level. The 140 is the height in decameters. Add a zero, you've got it in metres above uh, sea level essentially. At the moment we've got some very cold air in place uh, and it will stay that way through Scotland on Thursday. Still uh, freezing levels very low and extensive snow cover having been falling for the best part of the past couple of days. By Friday, though, we see a lift of freezing level coming up from the south as fronts move northwards, a much milder air for England and Wales. Still a slow lift, though, in Scotland and many of the uh, valleys and glens not too far above freezing point, but a gradual general lift of freezing level. Into the weekend, and we see uh, only subtle changes. The airflow is generally from the south. It's fairly mild for many places, England and Wales uh, more so than Scotland. The higher mountains only perhaps just above freezing point, only very slow uh, thawing given some sunshine around by day. Overall, that uh, story of being on the cooler side for Scotland is probably going to continue, and really the snow cover that's in place won't disappear too quickly at all. A little bit milder England and Wales overall, you're generally above freezing by a few degrees on the mountains. The easterly flow that's in place next week though may feel rather cool, particularly on the Pennines. Let's have a look at the charts, and this is Thursday, and a much more optimistic picture for most places. A ridge of high pressure is in place across the country. A few showers, snow and hail locally in west and northern Scotland, but very well scattered. Plenty of dry, bright weather around, lots of sunshine across a good part of the country. Some uh, infill of cloud through the course of the day, and winds dropping relatively light on the whole. Fronts, though, are moving back into Ireland. They will then move northwards and eastwards into Friday, producing much more in the way of cloud cover, but a good deal of that could be above the higher summits, uh, maybe just some uh, dregs of drizzly rain and a bit of snow across Scotland as a front edges northwards. Difficulty with how far into the highlands that gets, it's probably murkiest around the far west coast, the north and northeast uh, likely somewhat brighter, and uh, some damp conditions encroaching onto the far uh, western fringes of Wales, but across the Pennines and the lakes it's likely to be a dry and a fairly bright day with some hazy sunshine through high cloud. The wind as a fresh south-southeasterly, uh, locally gusty uh, around some of the higher ridges, uh, particularly say north of major summits. The weekend then, as you can see, is rather a mess. Pressure becoming slack, exactly where that front comes to rest by then, hard to say. Locally it could be a poor picture with low cloud and rain persistent over a few hours, hard to get the detail on that one. A chance that much of Scotland gets behind that front by this stage and brightens up essentially, but it could leave a legacy of cloud layers uh, at various levels across the mountains. The winds look fairly light uh, with not too much uh, of the isobars on the chart, well spaced out. So quiet, fairly dull conditions, just watch where that rain may exist on the Pennines. It looks likely as though that front will move away towards the southeast by Sunday. We're still left in a rather slack pressure setup, but not so sure about how active this low is towards the southwest. I think the best story is an idea of some showers breaking out locally into the afternoon, perhaps heavy and slow moving, but many places may escape not too bad. So if we've got low confidence at the weekend, it uh, stands to reason that we're not going to be that much more certain by the early part of next week. But there is a general theme developing, and that is that high pressure is towards the north, that low pressure is more towards the south, and an easterly flow is going to dominate into mid-April. That may just bring some rather cool conditions and banks of low cloud in off the North Sea onto the Pennines, perhaps the eastern Scottish highlands. Really uncertain just to what extent mixed conditions, uh, bits of rain, showers, fronts maybe, are tangled around across England and Wales. More likely, uh, Scotland stays somewhat drier and the West and Northwest Highlands, perhaps even the Lake District, do very well over a good few days uh, with that wind flow coming in from the east. Highest cloud bases, greatest breaks, greatest chance for warmth and some sunshine.
is towards the western side of high ground. That takes us through into mid and late week. Uh, the idea of high pressure staying towards the north, the easterly flow is in. Confidence, as you can imagine, as I said at the start, is quite low. But that overall theme of an easterly seems to be where we're going into mid-April and something a bit more settled than where we've been in recent times. What it should mean is that the Scottish Highlands in particular go into alpine mode where there's uh, some thawing by day as temperatures lift above freezing but some refreezing overnight and things just become consolidated in terms of the snowpack. Stay right up to date with the very latest detail for your mountain region updated daily on our website. Thanks for watching this video today and bye for now.